Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Amber Nicole, and in today's video, I'm finally giving you guys an apartment tour. Okay, so the reason I've never done an apartment tour is because I didn't want anybody knowing where I lived, and I live in a place where if you live in the city, you, you're gonna know where I live. So I can do this now because by the time you guys see this, I won't be living here anymore. I feel like this is such a cute little starter apartment and I wanted to give you guys a tour. Guys, first walk into my place. You see like my laundry slash storage room, my little tree, my vacuum, my little sitting area to like put your shoes on, leave your shoes here when you come in and stuff like that. I'm really not gonna show y'all this because it's a hot mess because I'm Getting ready to move. Let's do a little sneak peek. Okay, the washer and dryer is here. And let's see if I can show you guys without giving away my mess in here too much. It's a pretty big room, okay? But down here, it's a hot mess. But this is where I keep all my junk. I have a lot of stuff. Okay, so I've been in this apartment for about a year and a half. And this was kind of like my starting over again apartment um if you guys have been following me for a long time i was in a very toxic mentally verbally abusive relationship for about four and a half years very long time took me a while to get myself together to leave if you've ever been in that type of situation and you just know like how hard it is to leave i was dating someone that was very narcissistic and my mind was it was real wrapped up in the negativity. Like I just always thought everything was my fault. I had to work on my self-worth and I left. But when I did leave, I left so abrupt that like I just kind of had to find the first place available. I was staying with my mom <laughs> in like her spare room that was my room that she turned into a closet. So I was on an air mattress surrounded by clothes and shoes and blankets and all this stuff. So I really needed to get out of there and I just chose the first place that was kind of close by good price so this is technically considered a junior one bedroom which means it's smaller than your average one bedroom i'm pretty sure this is smaller than 700 square feet so now let's get into the rest of the tour just into the bathroom now and i really just wanted my bathroom to feel kind of like cozy yet girly and it took me a while to figure this out i feel like my bathrooms only looked like this for probably like maybe like eight nine months we're here in the corner like this is just a hot mess when i move into my new place i'm gonna figure out how to organize my jewelry sunglasses and bowls better because right now i've just collected so much stuff that like i don't know what to do with it <laughs> okay and then i got this really cute um pink lint from amazon you can turn it up like as bright as you want it or as low as you want it you can't see it that well on camera but it does like shine it does kind of have like a pink cast and then over here, I just kind of have my little fog candle. Over here, I just kind of have all of my fragrances here. I got these shells from, I think, Ikea. Shower. I have an overhead shower. I never use this because I feel like I have to, like, bend my neck too much in order for it to, like, really hit my back. This is my little vanity. I got it off Amazon. Um, I would link it below, but it's not available anymore. But if I find something similar... I will and I just keep a lot of miscellaneous things over here no no organization what the vanity looks like with the lights on it's really cute I feel like it's made more for like a kid I think it fits really well in this space because the bathroom is just like not that big but it's still a really decent size for like a one bedroom so this is kind of what sold me it has really good space this is just kind of where I keep all of my like immediate makeup the, the drawer is messed up y'all so this is where i keep all my like extra makeup and stuff this drawer is for new makeup that like i need to try so a bunch of stuff in there and i think this is where i keep like lashes and stuff so yeah and over here it's a box of new products but i'm not i'm finna move so i'm just gonna stay in the box and then it has pretty good storage this is just <laughs> like scrunchies bonnets miscellaneous things I think all these drawers are kind of miscellaneous. It's just like, just random stuff in here. This is where I keep all of my hair tools. Under my sink, it's crazy, but I feel like every girl understand, especially if you're a black girl, all these black bags is full of hair. <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay, and I just have a bunch of random things. Everything in here is like in a bin, and then I just had to stack stuff on top because this place just does not have enough storage. Cozy. Say hello to the people. You was making a lot of noise in the intro. Say hi guys. Hi Rosie. 
and Rosie loves to sit on the side of the toilet. Don't worry, I keep my toilet real clean around there because I don't play about that. It's like my little entryway. I got these bins from Ikea and hung them on the wall. I got this mirror from Target and then I forgot where I got this from. But yeah, I just kind of have this decorated. It's really cute. I wasn't finished decorating this place, but I'm like moving abruptly, which I'll get into later. And then this little gate here is for Rosie. Rosie loves to have her mouth open. So when I leave, I usually put this gate up so that she can't get to the front door. Because if I leave, what she see look at her, she's like, what the fuck? She got the gate out. <laughs> so she probably thinks I'm leaving. But I put this gate up because when I'm gone, what she'll do is she'll sit right there and kind of sniff under the door and just bark at anybody walking past. And I don't want any complaints. So I keep this gate here. It makes her go in the room or go in the living room and sit her butt down. Now let's go into my room. Now this is one thing I don't like about this apartment. So my room doesn't have a door because technically it's a junior one bedroom. And I'm a scaredy cat. So I put this, um, what is this called? I put this, um, what, the, what is this called? This curtain up. Now, I bought a rod for the curtain to go on, but I've been so ghetto. I just, like, pinned it up there with, like, um, what do you call it? Like, thumbtacks? Because I just didn't feel like putting it up. But this is my room, so when you open it up here, this is my room. Now, this, my room's unfinished. <laughs> like, I put this, um, what is this called? I can't think of anything today. Wallpaper, yeah. I put this cement wallpaper up I got from Amazon. Another thing I like about this room is that it doesn't, like the wall doesn't go all the way up. So over there is the living room. So you can hear everything. Like you can't shut yourself off for real from the other side. I got these really cute sheets and duvet cover from Urban Outfitters. Because y'all know I'm all about the pink coquette vibes right now. I got them from Ikea. And these little things are so old. They're from Marshalls. They were in like my very first apartment. Same thing on the other side. But I'm going to be switching that out. I got my bed from Ikea. I got this bed that had storage on all four sides. It's drawers. So this one is like where I keep like all of my pajamas. You guys couldn't tell. Um, I really love pink. I and then I'll show you guys the best part. So I got these color changing lights from um, Ikea. And I just love that you can just change the lights to any different color that you want to. This is a vibe. So I just want to show you guys my closet. It's as organized as it will get for the small space. I literally don't have space in here at all. Like I have two of these random dressers from Ikea from years ago. Most of my things are like hung up in here. I have this like fold out thing that like I put most of like my towels and stuff. No storage for real. My shoes are piled up on the floor and on like the top here. Yeah, so... It's just like a hot mess. This is one reason that I'm moving because I just don't have a lot of storage. This is the living room. I love my little space so freaking much. This is my favorite little corner. Obviously, I bought this pink couch a few months ago. And I just love it, you guys. It's the perfect shade of pink. I got it from Joybird. And then I just found this lamp maybe like two months ago at Target. I've been looking for like a floor lamp for the longest. This one from Target is just so freaking cute. Like it comes with this little like side table that was just like perfect. I get all of my little plants from Ikea. And then obviously this is my little entertainment center. So before I had the other couch, the TV was here and the couch was just here. And then I keep all of Rosie's like little, her little toys over here. And she knows she can go in there and get her toys if she wants to. There used to be a shelf over this couch, but literally two days ago, um let's just say it fell off okay it fell it, it fell okay it fell it broke my favorite vase whatever so no shelf is there but i'll show you the shelf i have because it's up on this side but there was a shelf it was given over here but it's gone i'm like there's no point of putting it up because i'm moving in a week and i got this couch when i first moved in and it's from albany park and it's literally the softest comfiest couch ever Y'all, when I first moved in, I didn't have a mattress, so I was sleeping on this couch. Super comfortable. I still sleep on this couch, and if anyone spends a night, they sleep on this couch, too. Rosie is like, why is she talking to herself? Freaking weirdo. And then this is a new addition as well. This is my matcha bar. Ah, like this. I love this so much. And I'm trying to figure out, like, where this is going in a new place. Like, I have... I'm going to just be quiet. Y'all will see, but it's really cute. 
I got all of these pictures with the frames from Amazon, except the frames are actually like a light brown and I painted them pink and white just to fit my theme. And almost everything you see here, Amazon, 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 Amazon. This I got from World Market. These two things were I got from Target during Valentine's Day, so they're not gonna be available. And then down here, every cup you see is from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then um, this is like my matcha bar slash like mocktail bar because I don't drink anymore. Like I can't drink, but I can't drink enough to like have alcohol here. So I just have all my favorite little, um, they're like sodas. So this is like um, an Italian soda from Whole Foods. This is something from Trader Joe's I tried that I don't like. <laughs> A little poppy this is a mocktail drink from target these are actually here is the kitchen area this is also another reason that i'm moving the kitchen is so small because it's a junior apartment so the refrigerator is not full size excuse my refrigerator just excuse it but it is very small it's not a full size refrigerator and it's not a full-size freezer. The reason that like this irritates me is because there is no storage. Like this is this is pretty much like all the storage I have. And like this is like all of like my um like dry goods. <laughs> I don't know. And then this is just like you know soup and bowls and little medicine. And this is for like extra like uh, cups and like Tupperware and stuff. Obviously, like, I don't have any shelving here, so like all my dishes have to be exposed. And then it's just a little storage under the sink and then just a little storage here, which is only enough for um, silverware, pots and pans. And then my seasonings, don't judge me, y'all. It's a hot mess in there. So, <laughs> and then everything else I have to store in my oven. <laughs> so... That's another reason I'm moving because I just want more counter space because I really like to cook and bake, but like I just don't have the space to do so and it's super irritating. Okay, then this is the last little area and it's just like my little workspace. Um, I got this desk off Amazon. It's the one that rises up and down. I don't like this desk because whatever material it is, it just always looks dusty. No matter how many times I wipe it down, it's just dusty. And I just feel like it doesn't fit the aesthetic. Like now that I know what I'm going for, it just doesn't fit the aesthetic. But I just have a bunch of random stuff here, like the books I'm reading, my coloring books, you know, my to-do list, all that stuff, my markers and color pencils. Um, <laughs> this random as, what is this? My little random schedule, like ignore that. Then my calendar. And then um, a lot of this stuff was on the other shelf, but it fell. I don't have any box to put it in, but just my little knickknack stuff from Disney. I like really, really love um, this picture I got at Disney. They like hand drew this for me and it's Ember and Wade from Elemental. And I just love this so much. This is me and my boyfriend's favorite like Pixar movie. So that represents us. And I just have some little DIY little picture frames the up house that me and my boyfriend made, and then, just, you know, more pictures, my YouTube plaque, um, more Lego stuff. Okay, y'all, so my camera died, so we're switching to the iPhone, and I'm using my front camera just to make things easier on myself, so if the quality is a little different, my apologies. But that concludes our little tour, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about me, like, transitioning to this apartment and transitioning out of this apartment, and, like, I always feel, like, so weird like trying to talk about this. I've tried to talk about this so many times, but like it never works out. So um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I was in a very negative, like toxic relationship. And so when it came down to me moving out of that place, it was very like abrupt. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I can't take this anymore. Packed a bag and went to my mom's house. Like I said, I was on the floor sleeping on a floor mattress and I'm like okay well I have content due I got deals and I need somewhere to film and my mom's place is just not the ideal place to film so I'm like okay I have to find a place I have to move like right away thank god I had been like saving up money just kind of like anticipating the breakup so um packed up all my things <laughs> and 
got up out of there i found this place and it's a good apartment i feel like everything you know kind of has been like okay here um i like that the place was small i was moving from like a very big place it was a three bedroom duplex it was a very big place 1500 square feet so very big place so i had a lot of things to downsize um left everything pretty much i had to get all new furniture because see with that last relationship i was convinced to leave my apartment and also to just like eventually get rid of like all the stuff that i had worked hard to buy things that i really liked and enjoyed but that person just used to complain about everything and about my style and everything like that so i ended up getting rid of everything so when you buy things together you have to kind of like decide who takes what and that's in a healthy relationship but because things were so negative and so toxic i was like forget it god got me you can have all this stuff. I don't want that stuff in my new place anyway. Looking at stuff, you know, remembering the relationship, just the energy that was attached to it. I was like, I'm going to let all this stuff go and just get new stuff. So for a while, I didn't have a bed. <laughs> didn't have a bed frame. Didn't have a mattress. Um, for a while, I didn't have a couch, you know, but it doesn't matter. I saved enough money up. I furnished this whole place. And, you know, it was whatever. But this is, like, my first time where I've lived a long, for like, a long period of time. I feel like every time I had got my own place, somebody was somebody was living with me after, like, eight months to a year. So, this is the first time I've been on my own. And this is going into, it's almost been two years since I've been on my own. So, yay, she's doing it. And I don't plan on moving in with anybody until... I'm married. So that's that. I, and I would suggest, girls, if you're younger, you're seeing this, please listen to your mama. Don't move in with no man. I don't care how good it's going. Don't move in with your boyfriend. Don't even move in with your best friend, okay? Because don't do it. Live by yourself. You have forever to live with a husband, with children. Maybe if you have to live with your parents again one day, if you have to care for them, you have enough time to live with other people so live on your own so that you can have so one you can learn to be alone and two you can have full creative freedom on <clears throat> you can have full creative freedom on like styling your place and like finding yourself because like i just wish i would have taken all that time to live alone like it was no reason for me to be living with anybody i have a big heart so anybody is struggling if they need help i'm over here like oh help you no Please don't be Captain Save a Ho. Take that hat off. That hat is off. I'm not throwing any lifelines out anymore. Didn't work out for me. Not doing it again. <laughs> but I can laugh about it now. I'm still healing. Um, I went through a lot of traumatic things. I still have a lot of trauma that I'm dealing with to this day. I'm in trauma therapy. I had regular therapy. Wasn't helping. So now I'm in trauma therapy. And I'm moving through a lot of my issues and stuff. So I feel good. I feel better. <laughs> let's just let's just keep real i feel better um and also because i am in a new relationship i would say heal a little bit let's just heal a little bit before you get into something because i was already in therapy for a few years i feel like i transitioned okay i probably could have transitioned better into my current relationship but because i am in that trauma therapy it helps so much for me not to drag old stuff into my new relationship and that relationship is going really 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 good but this is not this is not that video okay but everything's going really well but um yeah so you know this apartment was kind of like my rescue place this apartment has been a safe space for me it has been a place of healing it has definitely been just the place where i found myself again where i found love for myself again where i found my self-worth again where I found just my love of just girly things, fun things, goofy things, childish things. Like, like I feel like in that relationship, like all of that of me had to be kind of like put away or like hidden. It was very judged a lot. So this place really helped me blossom into the woman that I always was and always wanted to be and am becoming, I guess. Um, so this place has been meant a lot to me. I really feel like I've I wish I would have felt more comfortable to share more of this journey with you all. But because I am coming from trauma and a person that was acting like they was going to come look for me type of thing, I just did not feel comfortable like posting too many like 
you know, Sunday recess. Well, the devil is a lie and my phone ran out of storage. So if we're back to the camera, hopefully it stays on long enough for me to finish what I'm trying to say. But just like going forward, I still just don't believe in like doing an apartment tour while I'm living in my current place because not only do I not want like exes or like old friends knowing where I live at, you, no matter how big or small a credit you are, people pay attention and people are nosy. So if you're constantly showing your view, if you're showing your whole layout, if it's on apartments.com, if anyone's been searching for an apartment, they about know where you live at. And two, if you know the city well and you show your view, people most likely can figure out what neighborhood you live in, at least the block or whatever. So for me, I won't be giving like a full apartment tour for my next place until I'm leaving. But I mean, you'll see glimpses of the place or whatever. So you guys will get to see enough to know, just to know the vibes or whatever. But um, yeah, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm in a much better place. And from now on, I will be sharing more of my journey and what I've also been doing to heal. Because if anybody has been in any type of abusive relationship or has dated a narcissistic person, you know that it's a hard thing to get out of and to bounce back from. So I'll be sharing more videos on that the more comfortable that I get. But because I'm still healing, talking about this stuff, bringing it up. It don't do no good for me, <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I I think that's I think that's all. But yes, um, I pretty much got my dream apartment. You oh, okay. Never mind, you guys. I got another story to tell. So okay, we're, we're, let's rewind. I didn't tell you guys why I was moving. So my lease technically is not up until I think March or April. It is September, and I'm out of here in a week and I'm leaving because there is a Zika flavor freak, a creeper, and a, uh, a, a nasty A man that's living in this building that I've been having an issue with. And so a little bit more about the issue, pretty much like, okay, when you have been abused in any capacity, when you know the signs, when you've been through that, you can spot an MF from a mile away you can you can literally see like their energy their aura so the first time I saw this man he was getting on the elevator with I don't know if it was just his girlfriend somebody and she I noticed that she looked very disheveled and instantly I felt uneasy I was like okay noted don't be speaking to them don't be around them don't get on the elevator with them that was my first and last time getting on the elevator with that person now Following that, I kept seeing them. So when I would take Rosie out to walk her, he would always be on the side of the building smoking or like walking to his car with this girl. And again, she always would look disheveled. She would always be like hunched up, holding her head down, or he would be like grabbing her arm, whatever. So I already see what type of dude this is. So I always try to make sure to cross the street, you know, move quickly away from him because I just know this type of person, right? So then it started when I would run into these people Sometimes the girl would be there, sometimes she wouldn't be. So one time in particular when I was walking, I didn't see them ahead of me. Now I wear glasses, and if it, you're a little bit in front of me, I really can't see. So I didn't really make them out, so I got a little closer. So when I seen it was them, I said, oh, let me cross the street. So he makes the girl go up in front of him a little bit, and he would just be like, oh, you're sexy as fuck. Okay, men say that. You know, women, we get catcalled all the time whatever but then it started being when i when i would be walking out the building and let's say he's he's a smoker so he's always in the front of the building or the side so i don't see him until i'm walking out then it's your 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 a is fat okay you're so thick oh you look really good oh can i talk to you oh hey how are you you know if he sees me like one time i parked on the side of the street and i was like getting all my groceries out the car i have like a grocery cart that i get everything out of again i can't see far so as i'm crossing the street i notice oh he's out here smoking so i'm like whatever let me just you know go on the other i'm like let me just try to like cross the street so he literally runs and tries to like open up the side door for me but i cut and go and go the other way like go across the street or whatever so i can tell that like blew him he's like what the fuck he's tried to um you know hold the door a few different occasions so that like when i walk past he can say something sexual to me which i'm just like damn dude it's been like 10 times i literally 
don't look at you. I don't say anything. Like, why are you keep, you know, making advances? So um, I realized that he started to be like, I leave, usually would leave the house around like 12, 30, 1 o'clock on most days. If I usually I would like leave out on like a Wednesday around that time. So I noticed around that time, that's when he's outside. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Like my body is just telling me that's weird. So the next encounter I had, I feel like all week something like in my body most likely got was like, okay, he's going to try to get you alone on the elevator so that he can really like you know make an advance and I'm like you know what he's making me really uncomfortable so um I got onto the elevator one night it was like 11 30 at night my mom had just well I had just dropped my mom off and my stepdad came and pick her up and so um the elevators in this building is always down so we had to use the service elevator which is a very creepy elevator within itself so I get onto the elevator and um you know i try to push the button to close and it's not closing i'm like what is going on like now this elevator is down someone's hand boom comes in there stops the elevator so it's literally like as soon as i saw the hand my body was like it's him so literally as soon as he like put his hand and like stuck his head in to walk in i just walked right out like literally if this was a normal person, they could have thought I was getting off because I was going to the package room or I forgot something or maybe the elevator just came down and I was getting off. OK, but because this person is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, as soon as I got off, he said he literally got pissed and he was like, you are a weird A goofy B. You wanted them weird A M Fs. You a weird ass M F. He just kept saying that. And, I, and he was aggressive. So he was like, you a weird A M F. You a weird B. I'm like, oh. And I just, I literally like, it just, it, like his aggression threw me off so much because all I did was get off the elevator. And when I got off, I didn't just get off and stand there. I got off and I walked towards the lobby. So how did you know that had anything to do with you? You know what I'm saying? So I called my mom. She came back, her and my stepdad, and they walked me upstairs. And I know that to some people... It's like, oh, girl, you're overreacting. He just thinks you're pretty. Oh, he just wanted to compliment you. Oh, whatever. But again, when you have been in an abusive relationship, and this is not my, like, unfortunately, that, like, not abusive, like, I got hit or anything like that. But in a previous way, way, way shorter relationship, I was in a mentally, verbally abusive relationship that was teetering towards physical. That person did put their hands on me. So, and then I dated somebody else that was a narcissist, which is a whole a whole different ball game. So when you've dealt with that before, any man that's going to be aggressive towards you can scare you and trigger you because like you don't want to be like you like it just it triggers you so if you haven't been through that i hope you never go through that i hope you never know what that experience is but if you ever hear someone with their story no matter how big or small the situation might seem to you just know it's big to that person and it's big enough to me to make me feel unsafe and it makes me feel like okay well this creeper knows where i live now he knows what floor i'm on so i don't feel safe and i'm ready to go and he knows that i'm uncomfortable obviously because i got off the elevator or i never speak and i just feel like a person like that that eggs them on because they like that you're like afraid or whatever They're like it like it gives them something so i'm like i gotta get out of here so i told my uh building manager about it he is I'm not the only one and this is how I know like I'm right because he I'm not the only one that he's doing this to and apparently they're trying to build a case against this person but because he's a tenant and he has rights you know what I'm saying they let me out of my lease but they were like oh we can let you out of your lease but you gotta pay three months rent I'm like how y'all y'all got a problem with this dude y'all haven't kicked him out or anything and y'all want me to come up with three months rent when I'm trying to get up out of here and I gotta go find somewhere else to live because y'all tenant is raggedy and it's not just the tenant there's so many things that go wrong in this building i just feel like a lot of the, the the money that i pay here is just like not worth it that's why i'm leaving but um yeah <laughs> that's the story um but yeah guys i'm gonna wrap this video up so if you stayed here for that long thanks so much <laughs> um, i'm gonna be pushing out a sequence of videos and stuff like that but i want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for listening to my story and being a little nosy but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one